Captain I have the roster list for the upcoming shore leave. We have staggered the shore leave parties so we can still run three shifts. Thank you Yeoman. Are you planning on shore leave yourself? Yes I have a young man who I am looking at. I just wish he would look at me. Well before our shore leave, I want all the crew records updated. I know how it works when we wind up going to a place like a pleasure planet. Executive Officer's Log The USS Enterprise is in on routine patrol 3.5 hours from the neutral zone. All systems stable, no orders from Starfleet. Mr. Spock there is an unusual comet 3 astronomical units off our course. It might be an interesting thing to study. Proceed Lieutenant. It is still in our patrol area. Ensign Chekhov, set course to intercept the comet. Report. Yellow alert. Identify what just happened. Lieutenant Uhura, call the captain to the bridge. Have we learned anything about what happened, Mr. Spock? The whole ship felt it and the crew is asking questions. I only have information on the effect, not the cause. We experienced a momentary shift in time, and an apparent dimensional shift as well. I cannot understand this. I want all of our ship's systems gone over in detail. Scotty, put every engineer to work, starting with the most critical systems. I want them gone over in detail. My wee bangs could not have done this. We were not even going warp 2. Well Mr. Scott your precious engines have been known to do strange things before. Your turn McCoy. I want the crew checked over for any bad effects. Well there are a number of crew members including you who are due for medical exams. I will have Nurse Chapel get started. Don't try to talk me into skipping yours. Captain, I just got a message from Starfleet. We are to proceed to the dwarf planet Sedna in our solar system, where we will dispatch a shuttlecraft to study the surface. The message repeats. Sedna. What's there? It is a frozen planet on the outer reaches of our solar system. Sedna is a dwarf planet with an orbital period of 11,400 Earth years. Its atmosphere lies frozen on its ground and is composed of methane, nitrogen, and water ice. Heavy deposits of tholins are also present. What are tholins, Mr. Spock? I hope you don't mean tholians. That is illogical, Captain. I don't compare organic compounds like those to tholians. Tholins are polymer-like compounds that are abundant on the surface of Sedna. There is one more thing. In an excellent feat of engineering, an observatory was founded there some years ago. It is operated by Starfleet personnel. Navigator set course for Sedna, ahead warp 5. Proceed when ready. I don't know why we are here. Sedna of all places. I just follow orders. It sure is a dark and dismal place. A small structure is dead ahead. Federation Registry. There is no cause for alarm. I am Admiral Zachary Collins. Return to the Enterprise. You may request docking clearance but make no other communications. Captain, the shuttlecraft is requesting docking clearance. They are approaching. There are four people on board.
Not three. Do you have an identity on their uninvited guest? Negative captain. One human male is on board, in addition to the crew. Permission to dock granted. Security to the shuttle bay on the double. Please provide identification, sir. Our procedures require it. Escort me to your conference room, and notify your captain to meet me there. Captain Kirk, I am sorry to have to do things this way. Starfleet wants a lid kept on our current issue. You will drop me off at Starbase 17, and then proceed to Planetary System Groombridge 34AB. Groombridge 34AB is a binary system with red dwarf stars orbiting each other. It lies about 11.6 light years away from Earth. One planet orbits the A star. It is thought to be too hot to sustain life. Correction Mr. Spark. The planet there is hot, but is known to have a people living on it. That is your destination. Recently fast radio bursts have been received from the planet, meaning of course that someone is living there. You have also experienced effects that apparently originated there. That is what you are investigating. The effects were dimensional and temporal in nature. These effects were picked up in the Romulan and Klingon empires as well. We cannot interfere with them, although it sounds like there may be trouble for us. Correct. Whatever happened, it was 11 of our years ago. However, Starfleet believes that there may be a current threat. There is another issue. We decoded some of the fast radio bursts. They are cries for help. Captain's log we have left the Admiral off and are approaching the system. We have spotted an anomaly that may be responsible for the disturbances we had. Spock, readings. What is it? It is an unstable hole in space. It appears to be growing. A hole to another universe? Can we send someone there to see what is in there? I advise against that. It is too unstable. We can send a probe through. I recommend doing that. Mr. Chekhov launch probe into the hole. Have it transmit conditions back to us. Probe launched. Heading through hole. Telemetry incoming. Maintain contact with the probe. Proceed to the planet. Heavy degradation to cities and structures, surface very chaotic. It looks dangerous with large animals attacking humanoids. Outfit an armed landing party. Have them take a look but take no chances.
It's really hot here. I hope we don't have to stay long. We are only here to do recon. We won't be here that long. Look. What is that? A huge misshapen mutant thing. It resembles a human fetus. Phasers on stun. The captain gave us clearance to use weapons at our discretion. It's leaving. Looks someone is coming. It looks like an old man. You came. I will take you to a place of shelter. We are from the United Federation of Planets, and we are investigating what happened here. I am Gaylord. I used to be a scientist here. We sent a distress signal hoping someone could help. It took all of our power to send a message. You succeeded. It would help if you could tell us what happened here. We were experimenting with molecular transportation when something went wrong. What was that? What happened with that flash? Our guest is suffering a little from malnutrition, so I will get that fixed up. Other than that he seems healthy. Nurse Chapel, prepare a vitamin shot. I am Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. We are trying to discover what happened to your planet. I told your people that we caused it. Captain I need to speak with you. Captain, our guest is correct that this is artificial, the whole I mean. However, these people did not cause it. It may be that their equipment tapped into something, but it is not the cause. I hope you are not going to tell me that it is aliens on the other side of the hole. Indeed I am Captain. It appears that someone does not want a certain star to go supernova in their space, so they have directed it toward the rift. Oh wonderful someone is disposing of their garbage at our expense. <laughs> 